God speaking to our hearts, our lives, so that we can experience the fullness of joy that you promise to those who diligently seek you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Emo muano fatalo fatul dante umavtanga ile neitu aso ile suafa manu malo yesu. Ile au auna ale atua ale sunga ya fuala au ya maisel faltua. Il pa ia fo yole au fainga ale wenga ale atua ya maisel dante umavtanga ta mama china ma atua. Ya uno ne ya vanom fa ya yo na tula yo tolum. Hallelujah. I see a lot of familiar faces. Amen. Over 20 years ago, we also lived here in the area, Samamumai, Texas, back in 85. I was in the military, so when we got out, this was our first place of residence. We moved here, and uh, so, uh, so I see a lot of my family here. Good to see my sister Puna. Good to see my sister Silifu. Silifu. <laughs> Hallelujah. Many, many years ago, when we were living in the area of Osoifuole, there were a lot of times, Aulele <laughs> Yasilifu would drop her off and she would spend the week with us and sometimes the weekend. One of the sisters, Matonunofo, happens to babysit our, our children. God has blessed their lives. They all live in Vancouver. Yeah, but we had a connection back then. I'm also happy to see my brother Maunga. And hallelujah. I mentioned I traveled here with my wife. Yeah, also from my brother Puni. Yeah, Ole. When was the last time you visited their church? He says, I don't remember. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, cousin my tomb, but if you out, yeah, I have tied it to a mobile knee, I have no tattoo to my foot tie. Yeah, on all caco, came caco, we upol it to a while. It was a morning, my way, all I say. Amen. Hallelujah. Ole. Mafu angal mama langa. We uh, we came here. I flew in last night. My 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 wife arrived this morning. We came to pay our respect for one of our pastors, Pastor Talanga, that passed away a few weeks ago because of our relationship. But also, uh, his older sister goes to our church. So out of uh, support and respect, we wanted to to be here for that. Ya viya le tua. Ole masinga o apelila ya ekolo yo kausanga kanu faya mfaife a wo lotsamoa. You know, it's so it's a recent experience, you know, picture somebody that's 3 years old ngeli kai kai lava. So ele yo la level mako loku mele yo chola ngale pepe mato. Before that, 23 years I pastor a Palangi church. 
I just felt in my heart, I grew up in the Samoan churches. I but uh, uh, many, many years ago, Poi Makisi was my uh, Fife out growing up, and then later on, Loia uh, Fili. I'm so happy that these people were so solid in their faith and the godly example that they, they lived. Kokele macho e Fife out macho ainga, and and I was one of the young ones that I really, you know, I, I'm looking at Fife Ao, I'm thinking, that's not for me. But growing up, in my mind, it's like I am the one of the youngest. <laughs> but when we were growing up, in my mind, like, man, my, when he passed away, he passed for almost 50 years. But this is the, this is the truth. I always see him. Like, I'm like, sitting I see. So in growing up, I was thinking, I don't want to be a fife out if you're always broke. I want to be something else. And then in my mind, you know, I, yeah, I, by solo. I try to do other things, but God continues to bring me back. This is my calling in life. Amen. So for 20 plus years, I served in the Palangi and uh, realm. I pastored that Palangi church and. In my heart, it's like, man, I'm going to go away from the Samoan people for a while. So what will get practice more and more? Lang ok, Lord, came in. I'm going to Samo. She will fight my luck. We will fight kill you. Amen. Like how I'm a car. Cool. Fuck. I got you. Okay. You'll get your fear. Fight it out. So I felt like, OK, I'm just going to go away from everyone and kind of practice and practice. And when the timing is right, then maybe if God opens the door. So after 20 plus years, uh, we resigned from our church and felt like the call to reconnect with our Samoan community. There was something that I, I missed. Hallelujah. Iletusia Roma, let me just start with that. Iletusia Roma, Gakusia Epolo le Apostolo le Mam la Maitato. Of all the works or all the books that he wrote, the book of Roman was the, like, sitting a loco yang kuskusinga uma. But when he was writing about the love of God, the mercy, the grace, the depth of God's love for us, the first eight chapters, all of a sudden, he come to, when, you come, when he came to chapter 9, 10, and 11, well, it's like a parenthesis. If you try to study and read through those chapters, connecting from chapter 1 to 8 and 9, 10, it makes sense in chapter 9, 10, 11. The reason is because he began those three chapters after he talked about the love of God. He was called to the outsiders, to the Gentiles. I for my lang fao pungal to Sharoma, O Lo Lava Loto, Botangatso, Lo Lava No. So I was one of those people, like many of the Samoans, that kind of left the Samoan churches and, and joined the Palangi. But for me, I was there, but my heart was like, for my own people, someday when God feels like I'm almost ready, I'm still trying to be ready. Amen. Amen. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I thank God for the opportunity once again to reconnect with our people. And now three years, uh, we pastor up a uh, Samoan church in San Jose. Hallelujah. Yeah, ole. Amen. Let's just talk this morning a little bit. Amen. That's chapter 5. 
ke lor kali a anania ile atu mo ke lor ka kanga pou se le le kala ngoi ka kanga ka ka fale kongu le olanga ke le yo manatu o life a kali mai polo o cha o pois fulu a le in cha o poiva le kala ngoi le atu ya anania anania alu kala ngoi le le inga ka kalo fa e yo lima ya ile bala au le atu a ai fa mai kala anania se o tanga tsale anga ka kanga il me chao pou la valnga o le yalu ana ni o fa e o na limba ya so fa mai le tu ala baia o sa ngatsa na o sa ngatsa wo o filifelia mo moli lo fina ngalo inu ese a kongol ngai fa te tonu lo wo langa a kongol ngai ke fa fo yo ilo la va manatu o my history doesn't really help me because he had a bad history but god himself said don't call him unqualified because he's a chosen vessel And that's exactly how I felt. I felt like God, I don't qualify. Yang alwa leo ang ang yelu si Chai, Amen. Alwa kulo ang yia fae yong alima ya Paulo, Saulo ya Saulo lela wa Paulo. Ya alam kanga ng leo lang ng Paulo. But I wanted to point that out. For my lea tua oyol sang ato fit fitia. Alai le fa olinga le le Paulo walai. Kamilo miro Paulo le mangingol walai awo le tua ilo na olang. Awang yia fa cha malai le walai awo le tua ilo sang ato. Oh, for any pelongia oil, the Apollo for my oil, I've got all kinds of all of history, blah 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 blah. Can all change the world? Have you told history? I'm going to fall in Congo. Hallelujah. We shall open school. We shall choose the Lord. Some well, we're going to history. Change the world. Have you told? Let me just touch a little bit on on some things to encourage you this morning. Hallelujah. All history. Have you told? We shall open school. We shall see. Ile ama changa lava verses for my during the springtime or spring a eight more mil season for there they go to war langa a winter ma malulu ma kimwe for inga kai stuck nga ka kako a football season a basketball season ya a back in the Old Testament time a meka a war season that's when in the springtime they go to battle ya lela war spring ya for military spa ya kavika remained in Jerusalem. Or the history of who back out, or the two pull away more more. The king lead his forces. He come a halu yo le mele ho yo le outchau. I for man chau pus pull kasi for my kavi ke long loko le ase skip before loko nge asa. Mawa se se yo malolo for nge by kau. So that's how he felt, and you know what happened because he stayed back because he was inactive. He got in trouble. Or they claim me love like inactive. I know all along I own the letter. Also, my normal key Apollo. If I come back, I'll fall in tone with the Lord. Be on our own. Skip the letter. Hallelujah. We follow the way. We ask God to let us look. We are kilo kilo. Oh boy. Now let's hear what we might pass up. For my local Africa. Hey, say I was a shame. I felt cold. I'm a little cold. We don't have time to cover all these chapters, but he was sending some people to find out more. See, on menga kakawe lor. Kala kuspa ya. Resist the devil or run away. I live up here. Say koi vai kasi ala pe. Amen. Olo wala kunga nga feel 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 koi vai yaku eli sam. Hallelujah. And you know the the rest of the story. This is what happened because he failed. To go to war when he was supposed to, he fell. Ba ya ku ya patsepa ya fi mga ailolo ng loto alumo mo impatsepa fale kong uloa mo foloma ami may uria. Remember that story? Ah, uria la ulang atane la. Fa may si amaya la uria si ko ay fa yeho mo inga iya kawai langa langa. Si life apia kawika nobody knows. Amen. Kaya fung ay kaku maya kawa kawa but God knows. Hallelujah! Awal lu kaku kama ilau ngal ngai caya, you know, olau tu calo ya convict lu wanganga ini, ini anganga pa iya, amen. Faya si amat anga fou. If you kaku we pretend, eking ai ngai caco, pada olor kimi moni lu wolang au au nai le tua oka, amakalong faman wia le tua. So what happened is au mai sau sau le ulia ya kafamai cavi ke ulia ya. Lo alai kau le kau alai oh Israel lo alai koi ame cawit cawit dia mai go spend the night with your wife you know it's okay eh or kaya lo kawit kau alai mau uria lo alai muka oko mai fafu lo kawit kau alai mengani alu mai uria oh how can I fafu fengo walu cawu le le oh ingo walu you know how can I be comfortable how can I just enjoy life when the rest of the troops mang ayah ingi angang apa penga ay me le mau lo loto Because in your heart, like man, there's work to be done. 
Koi olisi asu koi faonga. The very next day, ngofu kavi kan faonga. Mas cerunga, cerunga eonga halo ya, ya ngalu lola ya. Ya, five foot ngam ya. They work lah. The next day, olah foi ayang ngofu ngofu mai. Long story short, ngai wai lah solong kulu mai ke longa lah. La aver kusi ayo apola ayo kai. Faye kuu liat pi koi luma ya o kilo mau liat. Faye pui polo cavi cama, baca pa. Hallelujah. Well, the rest of the story, I wanted to explain some things like it seems to uh, that he was getting away with it. But then in chapter 12, Nathan. Chapter 12 is a powerful chapter that a lot of times we overlook. But Nathan showed up. Let me read it to you what it says. I realized today is Palm Sunday. Actually, I just remembered it when my brother Puni picked me up from the airport last night. And my, okay, how do you so pam la la pamma? Oh, sa ori, Allah unga ole esle me ma fofo ye. Ya ole ra kau kaka ya kau kaka milo milo ngai ka kau ole la pamma. See, in chapter 12 in 2 Samuel, this is what the Palangi Bible says. For the sake of the, those who Then the Lord sent Nathan to David. Hallelujah. I just told you what happened in chapter 11. David sinned. He committed adultery. Then he set up for Uriah's murder. So he committed murder too. Indirectly, he thought. Okay. I owe my this is almost about a year later. My Levalia. See, he just came here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, lenga, fayenga ya winga ya lelo mai kangaka. Ya le ya le si me okupungi masinga. Oh, le masinga. Le ya le o sau se fasala le tu. Oh, le ma. Papa nga kavika. Well, I told you sanga. Alai papa kavika. Oh, nothing happened. So I'm, I'm okay. Your sin will find you out. Hallelujah. Before ngang kupu ya Samsung, mangkufur kala ya Samsung. Ngafaya ilia tua. Samsung ni maya la matanga oil na seri. Meaning that there are uh, prohibition or another word, a eh, eh, restriction ilo wolang a oil tanga ta eh, special o valawinga. Ah, eh, ekele ing wainga, ekele uh, sele inga lo hulu. Uh, kele a restriction or tanga ta foile owa eselong a valawinga. Eke longa ka ka efeko e oil fainga me. I fai uma e... Eh, but the first time he did that, he felt like, well, there's consequences. There's a consequences. See, sometimes it delay my lenga yoi my yaletua. Amen. But just because you're getting away with it doesn't mean that you won't pay for it. Hallelujah. Oh, you know, I didn't pay for it. It's exactly the story of David almost about a year later. Lele wa ma ya 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 patsepa. Ya I saw lo mal perfecta. So this is what it says in chapter 12. The Lord sent Nathan to David. Hallelujah. I like that. Nathan didn't just show up. He was sent. Che ke le fo ke mi oso vale aka ko so walo fa sa o le me le. Ai le fa ya kwasi se ke halu. Amen. Mangayal me for my the Lord. Mangayal o walu o balawi na o ele chua. Yalu mai. The Lord sent him, and then he came to him and said to him, "There were two men. Yeah, from Kala Lord Kala. You remember that story? My God, what a bang! A rich guy, poor guy. The rich guy had everything. The poor guy, he had a pet. He lang kamay from a foul lover. I came with Saudi si kanga kay visit mai. A traveler, you know, came. I go for ling ole ma wua. Fasanga le dile kasi langa mamoi amaya fayele ainga a alele tachinga nga ma akele nga ye me ala wan wa after one while el fali yo kavika fa ma yo kavika ke lol me ka nga fali nga ka nga fa shoki akelor kalia al perfecta o o nga si yo ke lo ke mur ka le va de yo ko wo se fama singo se mia a mi fo nga na ki fali ko ngoi oi Amen. Or kala len kau fama chala el perfecta. Or kala ya, or efaka kau ya, ya kavika o ngolonga. Ah, mi o len a faiwa. Wongofon fa shoki uraya. Ah, uria. 
But he was so quick to say, hey, he needs to die as a member of God. <laughs> You're the one. If you read the rest of chapter 12, like I said, for the sake of time, Amen. Amen. I'm good. I can just keep going because I don't, I don't see anything happening. I still have a job. I'm still, everything is okay. God sees it all. And the other thing, when we sin against people, we sin against, you know, your responsibility as a, you know, a called of God. You sin against God. This is why, go with me to the, we'll just read some things, so keep in mind, you just go with me to Psalms chapter 32. <laughs> Hallelujah. So one of the Psalms that David wrote is Psalm 51, but also Psalm 32 in connection right after his sin. He he did some things I no for malave I povi for my sake of povi ma manga ya sa stule manga yon manatu he said to himself while I'm calling on fight perfecto in your faculty perfecto hey ola le me le palo a my le eh my koi if my say o mianga my fail chau langa if for kai me manga ya yon manatu I have fight kele u sistai le chua o manga kukula yo ga ko manatu Hallelujah. It's the same thing happened here, Yatavita. So let's just read a little bit uh, out of Psalm chapter 32. We don't have a lot of time. I'm so excited to, to just tell you the principles of God's word still applies today. Hallelujah. In, in, in Psalm chapter 32, let me just give an example of what he wrote regarding what just happened. Like I said, let's say, oh, Solom Tavita, oh, Solo, when he sinned, confronted by Samuel, I, I find excuse for him. I say, Hallelujah. Alkavika, when he sinned, he confessed. It's a choice this morning, people. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, you can continue to make excuses like Saul and others, or you can confess and say, Lord, give me a new heart, a new beginning. I surrender my life to you. That's the difference. Saul blamed, Saul made excuses. David, on the other hand, he confessed. He owned up to it. Hallelujah. I don't know why we're bouncing around, but I believe it's meant for someone that's here today. This is what he says in Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impure iniquity and whose spirit there is no deceit. The first word is blessed. My blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the wicked. So it's a powerful word. Another translation of the word blessed is uh, happy is the person. I feel happy. 
So in Psalm chapter 1, the word blessed is connected to a righteous person. But here in chapter 32, the word blessed is connected to someone that failed, and yet God has forgiven him. Are you following me? It doesn't matter how what you did. For my a blessed lea, I bless for my oil, for if I'm a lalo lotto letua. My am we are tangato of fat mangalo in a letua and a solitula fono. If I yakala kaya oe, oe, ma, 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 God says otherwise. I like that because you go to the next one in transgression is a big word, but but then whose sin is covered from my ufitia anangasala. King of Fongi Kayawe, Belongio, Chiapolo, for my Kelo, Melan Kupu, Malaya, 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 Ikiriko, Ilile, Lava. Hallelujah! Tayaoli, if I know Yacho, Lupule, Tua. A saulo lotso mo fama walalo o oil changata le fam uya el salamo le to lua. Hallelujah. I come with a salamo. For example, go to Psalm chapter 119. The emphasis is the word of God. 176 verses. Oh, kasi kilonga verses. Ah, the emphasis. You read every verse. It's about the the word of God that changes lives. E amakavo le upunga. Blessed. Si sol tangata fi fi le upule le tua o oil tangata manuia amuia Yo le ha ma ka ko ron ngai ya ko ki au ka ko lo pa ma on sai me Le si me il chapter 32 le I just want to read a few verses le ngaka will confess wo esele oli oli o cha vita o tangaka vole you know so just put it this way let's just say you owe a lot just like pastor was telling uh, sharing this morning that uh the ending of this month, the umaiko pay off and go mortgage you. This place belongs to you, free and clear. Man, as a person that is responsible, as a pastor, man, it should bring joy because it's freedom. Ava pefo oile fat pui pui ya oleva nga ya ya lela ufa ma ya oleva umala usala lela fasa loko. Watch those people's face when they walk out. Just like. If you were there last night, I can tell you're happy today. <laughs> so when you come out of it, there's a sense of like, man, you know, and then for your own that's exactly what Kavika is saying. Some 32, but because of what Christ did, we're now at the same level. Are you following me? Amen. Hallelujah. In, in Psalm number 32, I don't know why. So not only he talk about, he's talking to God, and then he, he began to share his own experiences with others. See, we are called to be witnesses. God delivered you. When we uh, first got there three years ago, let me just go a side story here. It's usually he retired from the Navy. After 20 years, he got out, but then it was a sudden retired. So he ended up living in a, uh, you know, run down, very, uh, you know, uh, cheap uh, motel, uh, trying to make it. Uh, when you come out of the service, it is so well, well, uh, it, you, you don't get the same pay. It's like your pay is half, blah, blah. So he wasn't really ready for it. Powerful story. What happened is that, so he started from there. So he struggled a little bit. He went to other churches, but for some reason, nothing works. So he told me when we first arrived there, when I met him, that was his story. He says, I've been to three Simon churches, and uh, I just don't believe in Simon church. So I said, well, we're not a Simon church, but come and visit. That's the other thing. Somebody asked me to invite him. So this man, long story short, so I lay local in, in the... Uh, you know, so for my oh man, I, I can tell that he had a lot of uh, bad experiences from the past. 
So he came the first Sunday, the next, and I, I think four Sundays in a row he came, but he said he'll never come to church. One of the things that he told me, I don't know where the money goes, blah, 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 but I support uh, TBN, I support local ministries. He's, his heart is for ministry, but he support all the other ministries, but not a local church. And I can understand, I can relate. So anyway, after four Sundays, then I think the fourth or the fifth Sunday, his wife came too. So they started coming. One of the things he says, I finally keep get out of local church. But I believe in the second Sunday, a second month, he started giving four hundred dollars a week. You know, the first week, like, oh, for my or whatever. So the second Sunday, the entire year, he paid four hundred every week. He's our uh, assistant pastor. But I share his story because God delivered him. God healed his heart. One day I asked him, Lemuwa, Lenga, why is it 400? Do you make 4,000 a week? He said, no. 400 is what I saved from my wife after 30, like 37 years smoking. She quit smoking. Come into church. She said, my wife also go to Pinko all the time. Yeah. Between the two expenses, 400 a week, we decided to give it to the church. All I'm talking about is my own tour. Hallelujah. So part of this chapter 32 that I want to read to you is, uh, so if you get a chance, read the rest of it. But I like what he says towards the end in verse 8. He says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule. Which has no understanding, which must be harnessed with bit and brittle, blah, blah, blah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, at least you're not like, so so I kind of like play it safe. Boy, can make a wing a cool at your toy. Hallelujah. We need to go deeper. In the two sing I period on child poyong palangi chapter six that began with these words from my we should leave the elementary teachings of Christ. You know, challenge yourself. Be disciplined. Go deeper. Don't depend on a sermon. Don't depend on someone else's faith. I need, the pastor comes and he does his part, but you need to go home and says, man, I need to go deeper. He read one verse or he read one chapter. I want to read the chapter before and the chapter after. You need to be diligent. Amen. Hallelujah. I was giving uh, four words to our church this past month for them to kind of think about or oh, words yeah discipline upu mua vision lisi upu passion yeah malupu conscious you know because i don't catch my discipline hallelujah it can come a discipline that all really look at all the nfl you know why they made it to that level they're disciplined you know why uh, michael jordan made a lot of money and he's so good at whatever you know what he does Discipline. You know, Bangladesh champingi to whatever Bangladesh gold medalist from the the games, the Olympics, and different games. Discipline. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me ask you this morning: Are you disciplined? Amen. I'm not talking about eating food. I'm talking about discipline <laughs> spiritually. Amen. Ah, knowing all the discipline, King Anga Elefia, Allah Dunga Chachalo, Che Allah Be Chachalo. You don't just pray for your own good. You, you pray because your prayer can be an intervention, can make a difference in someone else's life. You know, how about the next, another word? I'm just sharing a little bit in a general way. Amen. That's okay this morning. The other word is vision. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 29, verse 18, I believe, it says, Ah, they say vision. Let me cook. 
Que lo dan meca al vision. El vision, you don't just look at the now. Vision is you're thinking about the next generation. You're thinking future. Que lo que me. We only live for the moment. El yo más foca co o me falla solo en el afecta ahí lo future. If you're not doing good right now, when you get old, man, you're going to regret it because you failed to plant. Therefore, you have no harvest. I found my only little toy to go along and buy cowing it. He last week came to I because he said he was man man we are. Hallelujah. Twenty plus years when I left the Samoan church and I go and. Kind of work with the Palangi, you know. The reason why I went, because in my heart, I want to serve the Samoan community. But I felt like, man, I need more than just going to college. I need some experience, and then I need some more experience. And I look at the history of those that God used in the Bible. Man, you don't just graduate, and all of a sudden, you're ready to go. Around 17 years old, David was anointed as king. But then for a very, very long time in between, He wasn't accepted as king. He was called. He was anointed. But for a long time, Saul was still the king. And you know what? Kavika honored and respected him. Ah, remember the story? I feel like Kavika, oh, touch not the anointed of God. Kako, get impatient. No discipline. You want to rush. You want to get ahead of God. Yang alwal wale fiu kusu aku. Mulai lu. Emang mga yelo wala fajar jali le tua. I waited for a very, very long time, and for the last, uh, let's just say, for the last, for for all those years, God's been good to us. I have so many wonderful stories, testimonies that will take forever to share with you. God's faithfulness. Because I discovered is I don't need people's uh, approval. What matters to me is God is pleased with my, my heart. You know, I didn't care if people like me or not. Because there were times in the ministry I was pastoring, but when I meet our Samoan pastors, man, they look at me like, man, who are you? Or where did you come from? I also find out a lot of other people talk stories and they try to make blah, blah, blah. They missed out on the message of Psalm 32 that God has forgiven. Amen. Plus, God never called for you to judge somebody else. Amen. Only he can righteously do so. Hallelujah. So those are some key words. So be disciplined and then somebody with a vision. Vision, vision, vision. You know, you know people without vision, let me tell you this. There's no vision. You feel victimized. You are always trying to defend and always trying to explain. Why? Because if you are going to say, hey, I got a vision from God. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, God has appointed me. See, I call it confidence. Amen? Not confidence in yourself. Confidence. Kavika was a failure. Saulo, Paulo was a failure. Many other people were failure. But you know what I discovered? God used people just like us just like them insignificant people to accomplish his purposes so don't count yourself out hallelujah i'm here to encourage you today be disciplined but be a per uh, person of vision vision like i said and feel victimized you know that's a defensive position like i'm a victim but man when your mind is creative You know, if you're in the word, the word of God will make you think in a higher level, of, you know, a different way. Hallelujah. Yeah. Young people will see visions. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. A <laughs> low emphasis. Let me just share with you. Like I said, I'm just talking to a, a church family that I believe you've been going to church for a long time. Yeah, that's my message this morning, you know. 
no matter what I say, no matter what any other preacher comes, and you know, I, I, uh, see, education is what somebody do for you. Let me put it this way. Education, let's just say, okay, I didn't hear that before, I didn't know that, that now I know, blah. So that's education. Education is what someone does for you, whereas learning is what you do for yourself. So it doesn't matter what I say. I can tell you all these different things and blah, 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 blah. But if you're not learning from your end, it doesn't matter. Does that make sense? Education is what someone does for you to where learning is what you do for yourself. Hallelujah. learning Listening. One of my favorite saying, and I've told our church this, and that is uh, the difference between hearing and listening. Hearing tells you that the music is playing to where listening tells you what the song is saying. Let me say it one more time. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Amen. That's what I meant. Hearing tells you that the music is playing to where listening tells you what the song is saying. We need to listen. And sometimes God's been speaking to us, but we're too busy. You need to isolate yourself. You need to make time. You need to be disciplined. Says, okay, I've been going to church for a long time. Why don't you just tell yourself, maybe in the morning, maybe somewhere in the schedule, you know, schedule a little time alone with God so that you can hear directives for your life. We're too busy sometimes, even in ministry. Hallelujah. Be disciplined, have a vision. The other word that I want you to remember this morning is the word passion. See, vision connects to the mind. Discipline connects to the body. You can have a vision, but if you don't have discipline, then the vision will ju just a dream. Ah, not like wishful thinking. Good intentions, but no action. See, you can have a vision, but no discipline. It will never, it's not a reality. Hallelujah. And it can be the other way around. A discipline for you. I lay a vision. Young are disciplined just for today. <laughs> Hallelujah. The third word, well, the word passion connects to the heart. Your mind is involved, right? Your physical person has to engage, involved, but also passion. Your heart has to be in it. Everybody say passion. Que lo va a successful, whether it's business or sports or whatever field. O kanga ka yele upunga passion. Aga ko leo langa wone leo. Can people really say that you're passionate? You're a passionate Christian. Are there evidence that you are passionate? Hallelujah. So you need to challenge yourself. I want to be passionate, Lord. I like that song. I heard it yesterday. I was at a wedding yesterday before we came. That's why we came late. It was a wedding. My uh, friend's wedding, uh, granddaughter's wedding. But I like that song. He said, Lord, I want to be more like you. Anybody know that song? <laughs> I want to be more like you. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. 
But for me, growing up in church, I just got tired of hypocrisy, tired of fakeness, tired of pretending, tired of just acting. I want to be real. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I thought about the different messages. Like I said, the emphasis today is the upole tua. In Exodus chapter 16, when you get a chance to read it, when they were in the wilderness. Let me just connect to this little history. They were in the wilderness when they came out of Egypt, but then they start started grumbling. Oh, it's better than wherever we're going because they were just going around in circles. We sometimes like, ah, uh, uh, you know, nothing is going on, blah, blah, blah. I want to go back to my old life. That's exactly what they said. Complain me, I from my soul. I will complain me, I from my Lord, Mosi, Lewa may let you up. May I find your talk, or Kayao is a well man up, or my night. I left you, I will call the Mangul or Sal, boy or Sal. For my Lord, two laugh on the man. But look at how it is spiritual application. Manna is like bread. I will provide manna for you. But this is what God said to them, the nation. I want, he said, this is to see if they will obey my instructions. So for my Lord, let you fight in the womb. See, God will provide. But you have to do your part. For my, everyone has to go and collect for themselves. Amen. No. When the sun comes up before you get the manna, the manna will it, it spoil. When you get it. Chapter 16, verse 20, starting going down from my Lufasamo, from my Aonga Sao Lungale Lilla, Aonga Fale Kongula Yol Menale, Munmela Kamunkala, from my Eiloa. I Elopunga, I don't like it, but I'm going to say it because it is in the Samoan translation for my Elongia. She's about Punga Wamafu. I say, Wamafu Langa, instead of Lala Poor Rakao, my life up there, she says, say, Wala, say, Ulaquapa, ready. Say umala on a sa olaku. Say umala praise olaku. So what happened when they get up late to go and get the manna? Ewakul vayanga woyel fale kongu. Hallelujah. Wa melt. Ile kuspa ile version palang ilong winga woleanga. So elim fayla wanko ya pingi kamanga. O kako isi kemi. Yang al pawanga mele al woyka kako kamole wa mafu. Hallelujah. Mianga ke baba aya kwa isa nga cha se e ma yalo wo langa wo na ile tua. Langa me ma fua nga ke. Langa ke fa yanga. Amen. Ai ala po a ala sa ile ile tua ala ma fuka ile tua. Ma me fresh lava me ka ko. U pa la nya ta vita for my early in the morning will I rise up and seek him. Jesus went and prayed alone early in the morning in the gospel of Mark. Hello, early. Okay, early. My own breakfast. <laughs> early morning, my little two is how well breakfast. I can't let me look for my finger. I'll pull it out of two. Salamu, my mother, my mother, my father. I'm here to answer. I'm going to find a few more. 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 I'm going to find a Eleno for four oia in four weta wem. I now now oia le upule le tua. Amen. Le tua phone o yova. So so o e malis pa yupu mai. E ma fa fa fo oia. Ile ao a tua malpo a wa yanga me ke ma fa fa wa. Alleluia. Ol changate ma fa fa le upule tua ol changate fa malu yena. Alleluia. Let me summarize that one verse for you. What God says is before you meditate on the word, you need to avoid certain situations, certain people, certain friends. 
Say, blessed is the person that walketh not, standeth not, seateth not for my keleon mau natik kung ah dismiss from our lives. Lang ay few for every matter say the ocean part lang alua ang ayak kifaya mek way ya ele ya lasim ya or the not lover. Al jaya lang eh you know avail upule le tu afata uwa ya ti. There are so many scriptures in the Bible that speaks of why the word of God has to be real, has to be prominence, it has to be important in our lives. The very first miracle, we're almost done. Fayu kako lopamo. Because Puni reminded me solo, ola sa lopamo, ya kako kamido kui. In John chapter 2, remember the story of the first miracle, let me explain this to you. The very first miracle, Jesus changed water into wine. Water is symbolic of the word. But what happened is in this story, let me speak, let me uh, share with you. So the story is so they prepared wine is so it's like food to us it has to, so in their minds it was sufficient they had more than enough because they had about a year to prepare but you know the story they served and all of a sudden they ran out let me explain this. They ran out of wine. It doesn't matter how much preparation you think you put into for your own life. You will fall short. You are going to run out. But the beginning verses of chapter 2 story in the Gospel of John said that Jesus was invited. Jesus was invited and then the family went along. Invite. So he says, Jesus was invited. So all the good thing, he was invited because they ran out wine. They ran out, but Jesus was there. It's not a question if you will, you will. Amen. It will happen. Run out of my Lord, I or she don't go. Oh, Maria, yes, so say so swangy. Hallelujah. You know, all the way, all the way, my two a Catholic. I'm a guy from what I understood. I remember when I was little, we went to a Catholic church. Yeah, I come for English or that. Oh, we got faith now. We appreciate a local Amo Sam, a lot of you, a more more akuma, a step to say, Kako, if I'll tongue ah, yeah, a lot of the Amo. Uh, Pope, if I'm a mafa lavale, Tina Maria, marry this, marry that, go through Mary, Mary, Mary. Mary had a little lamp. <laughs> but what happened? Is, <laughs> I want you to listen to this. You know, in the Bible, the last recorded words Mary said, whatever Jesus said, just do it. Whatever Jesus said, do it. For my God, oh yeah, Yesu, don't come to me, oh yeah, Yesu. Yeah, come back to our story. So this is what happened. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, you know, that was their culture. When you come in, they wash. Amen. <laughs> So what happened? We servants here. wash feet. Wash, wash, wash. We have to wash our feet. 
a ke lo e le se kala na o alba nga fai be le manga o le tuwa se au onga a fe ko fai ko tuwe ya o lo banga fa tu mo mi se me nga o fa ko mo banga ka tsenga wa yongo mo e ongo mo ka longi ke le bona the bible says they filled it all the way to the top ke lo me manga o le tuwa se a fa ko mo oi kwa fa ko mo lunga langa fa a fa o ka o so mar ki a polo ngo fo ngo foi to Mengai fale ko ngoi ka ko isi ke mi fale tu mulele ya ke le la ba ngonga ya i la le oso mai fa so so ma Haleluya Ni sikanga ka o i le oso ai Facebook O ni si le me o ke le ke mi o ka ko ya lo Facebook Stop reading the Facebook and face the book Amen Haleluya Ya anyway skip it part Or so what happened in the story we're almost done Fama lola yesu ya na ona okay ya ave lola ye oire le pulele ah remember that part ah listen to this part water is symbolic of the word so when the water went inside the the gallon or the water jar or the pots it was water right but when it came out it was wine listen if the water had stayed in the pot it would still be water water changed when it was stirred are you following me water going into the pot is just water until it was served it would still be water but when it was served right it turned into wine see some of us are you following me but until that water is served, it will never be a blessing to anyone. Because when they received it, hey, where was this good one? This is better quality than the best that we had. No matter what best you think you have, God is always better. Hallelujah. Upulea will turn into wine. But it won't happen if you don't out my fuffle. Does that make sense? Yeah, go Let's go back now here, just for a few moments, just to read in closing, because after all, today is Palm Sunday. So I like to read uh, Mark's version. They all wrote about this same incident. Some were recorded Mateo and then others recorded Lisi, others, you know, but not. But all of them recorded this one, the incident, or the final entry of Yesu, which my triumphal entry. He, he, he was willing to go to Jerusalem. He didn't try to avoid Jerusalem. He understood that Jerusalem was the ending of his life on this side, it, it, it means suffering. This is where he was going to die, and he knew it. See, go if you know Jerusalem, make it okay, but my oh, I'll walk up. But in order to live, you must die. You must go through Jerusalem. When it comes to serving God, you can't just try to avoid it. You must die. You must go through it. So towards the end of Jesus' life, you know, I like Mark's version, chapter eleven. Matthew wrote it in chapter 21, same story. Luke wrote it in chapter 19, to where John, gospel, mentioned a few verses about the same incident in chapter 12. So let's just follow me. I'm going to read it. Now when chapter 11 out of Mark, I'm reading from the NIV translation. Can I ask the worship team to come forward, please? It says, when they drew near Jerusalem to Paphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and he said to them, go into the village of opposite you. And as soon as you have entered it, you will find a colt tied on which no one sat. You know, they came to Jesus. They cheered him on. This is what the Palm Sunday was about. They, oh, yes, so we want to honor you because you are coming as a king. 
And you will reign over the Romans because they were under the Roman rule. So in their mind, that Jesus will establish a kingdom. Jesus didn't come in the kingdom. But so at first, the same crowd, they cried out, Oil to Hosanna to the king when he was coming in. A week later, it was the same crowd that cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. When what they understood and their expectation didn't line up with what Jesus came to do. He came to suffer. He came to die. And that's the story before Easter. And this is what he says. He said to disciples, That man, or tied up. See, God wants to use that, but maybe you're tied up. I just want you to think about that for a second. And you know that little cult speaks of uh, or, or Manuel HHA speaks of new beginning is something new. Amen. So the rest of the story says, go, just go, go and untie. If people ask, just tell them what manao yaileli. That's the other thing. God requires us to do something that is kind of weird. Because if I was a disciple of Jesus, and all of a sudden he says, go and untie uh, an animal from down the street. I knew nothing about. See, that's the thing. It requires faith on our obedience on our part. These two disciples didn't like, hey, what do you mean? Hey, what are you doing? That's our donkey. Requires faith on their on their part obedience so they went and exactly what happened if you read that version so when they went and untied the the colt this little animal from the people were questioning hey what are you doing people will question you people will ask what are you thinking what happened to you but i like what jesus said when they asked what is it I like to close with that very thought today. God wants to use us. If you can use a donkey, if you can use a little animal, if you can use a burning bush to speak to Moses. The definition of the word burning bush is a dried up cluster of nothing. It's not a beautiful flower. It's not a nice tree. It's just a dried up nothing. But if God can use a tree like that, nothing god can use an animal god can certainly use us i felt in my heart it was meant for me to share whatever message because it's meant to encourage you people well i tell you i feel my issue you cannot pretend forever you can't just say lord i go to this church i pray that god will touch your heart and give you the passion to serve him with all your heart to give your best to give your all after all we're not going to live in this world i'm here today because of pastor tony talanga's funeral he's only 60 years old i don't think he was ready to die it wasn't his choice he didn't wake up likewise i said to you today you don't know tomorrow is not promised today is all we have i'm going to ask our worship team to just sing a song and if you know that god is speaking to your heart today God wants to use you. Avea oema, asini, avea oema. Tangata yofu inatu lo olanga iletua. Don't just be average. Don't just be a spectator. Be real. Surrender your life to God. Pastor can't do it alone. I can't do it by myself. God wants to use all of us to make a difference. Hallelujah. Let's stand in closing and let's sing this song. I'd like to open this opportunity. And if you know God spoke to your heart today. Hallelujah. Give up. Stop trying to fight it. Try to stop trying to do it your own way. Humble yourself and say, Lord, I want to give my all to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be thy holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah, I know Jesus.